Okay, so with this um, problem here, it's going to be a conservative force problem, meaning that if we start out here, we're going to be using the con conservation of energy, which is the initial energy is equal to the final energy after everything is said and done. So there's going to be no extra expensive work. There's going to be, you know, no plus um, W over here. So when we do that, um, we're going to essentially just see that um, the initial uh, energy that it has, it has no kinetic energy, we're assuming, because it's not moving initially. And it's only going to be potential at first, and then it's going to be transmitted into kinetic and no potential energy because it's no longer um, sitting on any height. Once you have that, um, the kinetic energy is then transferred into elastic potential energy. And the equation for elastic potential is right here, one half kx squared, where k is the spring constant we're trying to find. Um, we're also going to initially use this equation um, to find the initial potential energy. So what's the initial potential energy? Well, it's a mass of 60 kilograms times um, 9.8 meters per second squared um, times the delta y. So 5, five minus... 5 minus 3 is 2, so it's a delta y of 2 meters. And that will be 1176 one, joules. Okay. Now, once we have that, that's now, this is now our T2, our kinetic, our final kinetic energy, which will then also be equal to once it hits the spring with that kinetic energy it's going to be equal to that one half kx squared. And then with this equation, just relating these two, you're going to just, um, that delta x, is, so you're just going to basically have two times 1176 joules divided by a delta x of 0 0.5 meters squared. And then that will equal your spring constant. And I'm getting... Uh, 9,408 um, kilograms per second to the negative two and to kilograms per second squared. But the spring constant um, just tells you the stiffness of the spring. The higher the spring constant, the more stiff it is. And this makes sense because we're dealing with a very massive object like a roller coaster. Um, so that should solve the problem. If there's any questions, just leave a comment on Wyzant. Thanks for watching.